So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the recent crypto crash, what I'm going to do about the crash, what, um, why the crash even happened in the first place, and also I'm going to be giving you guys a week three update on Stoic. If you don't know what Stoic is, it's the crypto AI trading bot I gave $1,000 to, and in this week, it's time to make a week three update, and it'll be a quite interesting update for you guys, and the, the results were interesting to me as well because this is happening alongside the crypto crash that just happened. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure you watch it fully through. And also make sure you ask me any question you want in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer you. Hey guys, my name is Gijan and I'm a student in London who loves to talk about personal finance, entrepreneurship, ways to make money online and anything along those lines. So if any of those topics interest you, make sure you subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you're notified every time I post. So let's talk about the recent crypto crash. So why do I call it a crash? Well, the total market cap of all crypto dropped by $400 billion overnight. So that's why I call it a crash. So why did the crypto crash happen? So there's two speculative reasons as to why the crypto crash even happened in the first place. So let's talk about both. So the first potential reason is Omicron. And if you don't know what Omicron is, it's a new coronavirus variant that was recently found in South Africa. The second potential reason of the crypto crash is loads of crypto accounts being liquidated overnight leveraged crypto accounts to make it clear and 2.5 billion dollars worth of it so first let's talk about why a new coronavirus strain could potentially cause a crypto crash well if you don't remember back when coronavirus first came about crypto and stocks crashed heavily because people were scared and they just wanted to sell their assets to have liquid money on them and that's why crypto is dropping right now as well because of the emergence of omicron people think that we're going to go into a lockdown and the assets are going to be undervalued or whatever. So they sell their assets and then keep them liquid so that they can have money on them. In my opinion, this is just paper hands and it's completely unnecessary, but it is what it is. I've also mentioned another potential reason, which is the liquidation of many different crypto accounts, leveraged crypto accounts overnight. So let me explain what leverage is and I'll also explain what liquidating means as well. Leverage is a risky way to maximize gains by increasing the dollar value of the amount that you're trading with so that when you make a percentage gain whatever you make is actually more than you would have made if you used your own money but you're using borrowed capital to make more money but then the risk is higher as well but the reward is also higher so there it is but let me make let me make it make more sense for you guys uh, by using some numbers so for example if you invest one thousand dollars with 10x leverage that makes the position that makes the dollar value of your position $10,000 because you're 10xing your $1,000. So that means if the, if the thing that you've invested in moves 1% up or down, you're going to be losing or gaining 1% of $10,000 instead of $1,000 which you actually put in. So you'd be losing or gaining $100 per 1% gain or loss. I hope that made sense for you guys, but if you still don't understand then, Try watching some other videos or asking me some questions in the comments down below and I'll try to answer you guys as best as I can. So when the crypto crash happened, the reason, the potential reasoning behind it is that loads of people were betting on um, Bitcoin to rise by leveraging higher amounts than they actually had. But then when it dropped, people had to liquidate their positions or they got their positions liquidated because they didn't have enough money to cover their loss because they weren't actually trading with money that they actually had, if that makes sense. And $2.5 billion worth of this happened overnight and all of their accounts were liquidated. And apparently it's the biggest liquidation that's happened since September 7th. So what is liquidation? Well, if you pick out the liquid part from liquidation, you might have heard me talking about this before, you might have heard other people. When you talk about liquid cash, it means that you have cash that's able to flow right now, just like liquid. Now you can use your cash and you have it readily available. But in terms of crypto, Liquidation means when you have a leveraged account and you don't have enough funds to cover the loss that you're making So your whole account gets closed and everything gets sold and it gets liquidated basically So that's what liquidation means. I hope that made sense as well But ask any questions that you want in the comments. So now let me tell you what I'm doing during this crypto crash Well to be completely honest, I'm doing absolutely nothing I'm gonna keep my diamond hands and I'm gonna hold everything that I have I'm not gonna sell because Honestly, I don't have the time to research into different projects, which I will do eventually, but right now I don't have the time. I'm just going to keep my diamond hands and hold and just let what happened happen. Personally, I don't think the crypto bull market is completely over yet. I do think we're in a little bit of a iffy stage, but 
I feel like the bull market still has time to run. So I'm going to just buy and hold and see what happens. Also, let me know what you guys are doing during this crypto crash as well down in the comments below. So now that we've talked about the crypto crash, the moment that you've all been waiting for has finally come. What is happening with my money in the Stoic app? Well, first let's quickly talk about Stoic for anyone that's new here and then I'll show you guys the results. So Stoic is a crypto AI trading bot I've given $1,000 to three weeks ago. And I've posted a week one update, a week two update, both on my TikTok page, which you can go follow right now. It's the same name as my YouTube and also on my YouTube as well, I think. But yeah, so if, if you want to quickly go watch the week one and two updates and do that first and then come back here. But if not, you can just watch this video as well. But yeah, it's just a crypto AI trading bot that works by using predictive analysis along with a few other things. And yeah, I mean, just to give a brief overview of how week one and week two went. Week one, we saw a $1 gain. Um, week two, we saw a $30-ish gain. And now we're on to week three. What do you guys think? Before I tell you guys the results, make sure you go and comment what you think the results are and we'll see what happens. So Stoic operates on Binance, if you didn't already know. So I'm just going to hop into my Binance account on my laptop because I'm recording with my phone. And I'll show you guys the trades that is placed and what we're sitting on right now. So guys, let me jump onto my laptop and I'll show you guys my Binance account now. So as you can see, everything is hidden with asterisks. That's because I've hidden my balances. So let's get a drum roll before I show you guys my balance. Drum roll, please. And we're on... 0 0.0170 BTC, or in other, in other words or numbers, $859.57. So um, we basically dropped around $200. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what can I say? I'm not surprised. We are in a crypto crash. Let's take a look at the transaction history and see what happened. Oh, that's just my transaction. Let me go to trade. Um, let me spot. Wait. So these are the holdings. Let's take a look at the holdings. So most of the money, as always, is in USDT, and the reason that's uh, the reason why they do that is to keep it in a stable coin for risk management because uh, USD matches, USDT matches the value of the dollar. So it's just to keep it there and not, not to use it now. But you can see the second biggest holding is in Polygon Matic. Um, personally, my money wouldn't be there right now, but I'm letting the bot do what it wants to do, and that's what it wants to do. So we've got our biggest holdings in Matic, BNB, Luna, STX, Waves, Atom, and the list goes on and on, but I'll just show you guys the whole list. It's even holding some Ethereum, 0 0.003 Ethereum. So yeah, I mean, that's what that's what it's doing. And yeah, I mean, that's the wallet for you guys. What do you guys think? Let me close this now and we'll talk about what I'm going to do in regards with Stoic in the future. So as you can see, we lost over $200 in a week and obviously that's not a good thing but i do have to say we are in a crypto crash or a bear market if you want to call it so the robot is kind of doing all right not to say that it's doing good but it is doing all right it's holding up it's still it's still a robot so i mean yeah i mean it's doing good and um personally i'm just going to keep it in there for as many weeks as as many weeks as i want basically i don't need that money right now so it will just be playing in there and we'll see like it might do something amazing in the future who knows and it also gives me a form of content every single week so that's good as well are these the results that you guys expected or did you expect better or worse let me know in the comments as well also guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and turn your post notifications on and go follow my other socials as well because i'm trying to grow on them as well that's instagram and tiktok and my name is the same as my youtube if you ever want to find me anywhere, just search my whole name and I'll be there. So yeah, thank you for watching and make sure you post, turn your post notifications on.